Maybe? Can you see us? There we go. Okay. See us on both. Okay, so we're live on YouTube as well as live on Facebook. Um, so I'm going to do the project today. Joanne is behind the camera. <laughs> and then we have Amy and Starla manning Facebook. And Bonnie is on YouTube. And I think they're having some snacks over there. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, so um, I want you guys to guess what my shirt is from. Does anybody know what this is from? I want to hear um, who is excited for this day because of this reason. Maybe not the barb reason, but anybody know yet? Okay, so today um, my project is going to be, we're going to put glitter effects on this cute little bag. Um, but the main thing I want to show you is how to download Stranger Things. Finally Yay! came in. <laughs> Stranger Things. So I do have to give a little shout out to Alyssa. Um, Carl and I just started watching like two weeks ago, which is perfect timing because the new one comes out. So we just watched the first season a couple weeks ago of Stranger Things. Um, cause Alyssa was like our graphic designer here. She's like, you guys have to watch it. You have to watch it. So we finally, Carl watched it first and he was watching it without me. And then I was like, wait. So we rewatched the first one and then, um, we have a deal. Usually he scares me while we're watching scary things and he can't scare me during that one or I will not watch it with him. So anyway, so I'm excited. Who's excited for, who's going to binge watch Stranger Things tonight on Netflix? <laughs> okay. So, um, the project we're gonna do is with our new glitter effects in Aqua Mist, but I wanna show you guys how to download. A lot of times bloggers um, have like a free cut file, so I wanna go through how to download that and get your free cut file. We get some questions on that. So we're gonna make a cute little gift bag to put. Um, Brianna is multitasking. She's watching it right now. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> no spoilers. Don't give us any spoilers on Stranger Things. But I am excited to see if they say anything about my friend Barb. Where's Barb? Okay, so this is a mug. So we are gonna pretend like we're going to a Stranger Things party tonight, and we're gonna make a little gift bag for our hostess gift to go in. So I made these earlier um, with the glitter effects, and we're gonna make a cute bag that matches them to go in. So. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna move these out of the way. So a little shout out to our girl, Kim. This is Kim, she's awesome. She's from Girl in a Glue Gun. She puts out free files all the time. So we're gonna go to her website. Ooh, and I don't remember. I'm just gonna type in um, free cut file on her search bar. And she has super cute ones. She made this rug. So these cut files are usually for Cricut or for Silhouette. Um, it depends on who made them and what machine they made them for. How cute is this one? My unicorn ate my homework. And I almost made this color me happy. It was really cute. Um, but I'm gonna go down. This is the one I'm looking for. So hip hip hooray. So this is what we're gonna put on our bag. So I'm just gonna click on that post. Can you guys see my screen okay? Let me know. And let me know where you're tuning in from. I wanna hear where you guys are from. We are in Shelly, Idaho, and the sun is out today, which I'm super excited for. Okay, so she does have, if you guys need a commercial license, she does have a little thing here. A lot of them do. Um, I'm not looking for a commercial license, so I'm gonna scroll down. Don't get confused by this little ad here. Go down to where her actual text is, and she's got this one as a Silhouette file and an SVG, so for Silhouette or Cricut. Okay, so I'm gonna click here to get that cut file, and I'm gonna download it. Okay, so I've downloaded that, and I'm just gonna double click. Lots of shout outs, Bakersfield, Coleman, Washington, Oklahoma, Ooh, uh, Hawaii, Alabama, Arizona, Chicago, New Canada. Hampshire, Michigan, Canada. Blackfoot, Idaho. Ooh, Blackfoot, you're close to us. Woohoo. Awesome. Texas, you guys are Florida. All over. I think we covered like across Hawaii. Oh, to be in Hawaii right now. Hawaii is my favorite. Okay. 
So we've got this, and this is how it comes through. So I'm gonna make a few little tweaks. Um, I never use a cutting mat, so that is the first thing I'm gonna fix. So I'm gonna, I opened up my little, this little page setup button here, and I'm gonna go down to my cutting mat, and I am gonna choose um, none, right here at the top. No cutting mat, and I also don't want grid lines right now, so I'm gonna turn off those grid lines. Okay, so now we're just at the file. And she's got this cute little enjoy this cut file from a girl in a glue gun. And now I need to size this out. So I'm gonna go back over here to my bag and figure out what size Is we wanna make still this. Out in the corner? Yeah, we saw she Chad. Is. He's still hanging out. I did warn Sally. <laughs> Sally's got, um, who does she have downstairs? Ryan Gosling. Ryan, We're, we might swap him out for Ryan. What do you guys think? Should we, should we swap Sally for Ryan? Although I feel like we need to be nice to Sally. If you guys tuned in yesterday and today, we, <laughs> Sally is the best to scare because her reactions are amazing. So this morning, go look at our Facebook Live from this morning. We scared her good and it's really funny to watch. We love you, Sally. <laughs> okay, so my bag is... Um, get Ryan, get Ryan. Get, so, yeah. yeah, we should swap out for Ryan. My bag is about eight by 10. So, um, yeah, we're, we've had him for a while now. I think it's time to swap out. So my bag is eight by 10, so I wanna make this a little bit smaller. I'm gonna do it like six by eight. I think it should be good. So to change that size, I'm just grabbing on this corner and moving Point it in and out. Finger, Jess. What's that? Point to it with your finger where you're, you can't right. see the mouse very good. That little corner right there, I just hover my mouse over until it makes that arrows on both sides and I'm gonna hold my mouse down and stretch it out or make it smaller. So I want it about six by eight and it gives me the measurements right here. Sometimes those lie to you depending on how the file was made. So um, I'll show you another trick to measure. I am gonna make my waiting box. So I'm going over here on the left hand side to my box and I'm gonna just draw a rectangle across I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see this. And I'm just gonna tighten up those um, edges so they're close to my cut lines. And this is gonna cut, this is gonna add a box right around my project here. Okay, now I'm just going to select that box and it's gonna tell me this is 6.3, whoops, 6.3 by 8.3, which is great. Okay, and now not to waste the vinyl, I'm gonna select everything here and I'm gonna go up to object and rotate and I'm gonna rotate it by 90 degrees. So it's a little longer than um, it was taller. So then I'm only wasting a little bit over here and I can save my scraps. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over to send and we are cutting glitter effects which I have added in. Um, you can click right here to this add new material button and you can put in whatever material you want and save the settings for it. So I've got my speed at a four, my thickness at a 15 and my blade at a five. Um, my blade is fairly new, so I am gonna knock that down a few notches because it's, I just changed it the other day. Um, I am using a ratchet blade. Unlike Starla, Starla loves her auto blade. I don't love my auto blade yet. I love my premium blade. So we're gonna use my premium blade and I am just gonna turn that so my blade is at a five, like I'm saying it is on my program. And I'm gonna pop that into my machine. Okay. And then I'm gonna go over here to action. Actually, I'm gonna yep, save that. I'm gonna go over here to action and I wanna make sure that my tool one is on a ratchet blade because I'm not using the auto blade. And I just wanna make sure that's changed or it's gonna bounce it like it does on the auto blade and, and pump it to get it to the right um, setting and I don't need to do that. Okay, so we've got all that set. Now I'm gonna take my glitter effects and I'm gonna talk about this while we're cutting. I'll tell you all about the glitter effects. 
So I'm not using a mat. I'm just loading it into my machine. And I do have my roller moved in a notch. And I'm gonna load that and make sure it's between my rollers. <laughs> I lost my mouse. <laughs> Better than my cheese. Okay, and now we're gonna send that. <laughs> and it's gonna cut our file. So while that is cutting, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about glitter effects. If, can you hear me over the machine? Okay. So glitter effects is a permanent adhesive vinyl and it comes in all of these colors. Those. The magenta is my favorite and the aqua mist. But there's this, what's this one? Pacific teal, it's so pretty. Maybe let's go over to the window and we'll see if we can get that glitter to come through. Are we doing any good? Can you guys see the glitter? <laughs> can you see how glittery that is? Okay, stay here, I'm gonna grab a sheet. Okay. Is that coming through on camera how glittery that is? Not really, okay. <laughs> so the glitter effects is made with, ooh, maybe right there, a holographic flake. And so if you take that out in the sun, it is so pretty. I love it. It's kind of hard to see on camera and inside, but it's really pretty. So it is a little bit thicker than like 651 or 631. So that's why your blade being at a five for vinyl seems crazy, but you need that to get it through. And I just realized I made a huge mistake. I didn't do a test cut. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I'll um, make them. You always want to do a test cut, especially with the new material because You don't want to ruin a whole sheet of vinyl. And I want to show you on this one. I didn't get it cut through quite deep enough. And I want to show you how hard it is to weed when you don't get your cut settings right. I think that's almost done. There's a couple questions about what you're making okay. and what you're using. I am making a little gift bag to put our hostess gift in for our Stranger Things marathon tonight. So. We're gonna put these in this cute little bag to take it. We are using the glitter effects in Aqua Mist, and we just got done cutting it. The Is it good for outside? Yes, it's awesome for outside. It has a permanent adhesive, and it's gonna last. So it's great for cars or mailboxes or whatever you're using outside. What would the cricket settings be? Ooh, cricket settings. I would probably say cardboard. Um, it's a cardstock or cardstock. Cardstock, card stock, not yeah. cardboard. Up to cardstock card setting. Yeah. So this one I have here, I'm going to show you. Um, can you use it on the cups too? I did use it on the cups. So it's great for cups. Uh, we do recommend hand wash just because different washing machines or dishwashers, you don't know what they're going to do. But it will um, last with hand washing. You do want to wait and let that cure for 24 hours before you get it wet. You want to let that adhesive cure to the mug before you wash it. Okay, so this right here, I didn't get cut quite deep enough. And if you get in close, you can see how that adhesive is just wanting to hang on for dear life. And it just like, to weed this out is gonna be a pain. I've got letters in here that I'm gonna have to sit and hold each one and it's just not gonna be fun. It's gonna be frustrating. So, but when you get your cut settings right, and everyone cross your fingers, because I didn't do a test cut. So our cut settings are right on this one. So for the silhouette settings, I had my blade on a five, which seems super thick, but you wanna get through that vinyl. Now you don't wanna cut through this paper backing. You just wanna make sure you're cutting your vinyl. But look how much easier that is to weed when you get your cut settings right. Angel's wondering how to do a test. So Angel, on your silhouette, if you go over, um, after you hit, so, okay, so you're in your design, you go to send to your machine right here, and down here, you can adjust your, which tool you're using, you can adjust your blade settings, 
your speed, and your thickness, and then just click test cut. And that will cut out a little tiny square and a little tri tiny triangle in the top corner of your material. And if you can weed that little piece out easily, then your, your settings are good. If not, you can go in and adjust. Um, I usually just start by adjusting the thickness first before you get the blade so you don't cut too deep. Just make little adjustments as you go. So I'm gonna pop out these middles here. Oh, I gotta, it's kinda hard to see. YouTube down. Okay, so if you guys are just tuning in, I'm a little bit obsessed with Stranger Things right now. <laughs> Um, and so we're making a little hostess gift and we're decorating the, the gift bag. We already made the cups. Um, so we're decorating the gift bags to put inside. And I am using Glitter Effects. And we just downloaded this cute file from a girl in a glue gun. It was a free file she had. So now I'm just gonna trim that out. Are you using the latest version of Silhouette Studio? I believe I am using the latest version. Let's see. I am using 4.0, oh, I'm not, 0.83. So it's- I wants to know why you didn't use a mat. Um, I never use a mat when cutting vinyl because the way adhesive vinyl is made, this backing paper acts as your mat. So as long as you're not cutting all the way through and just cutting through your vinyl, um, you don't need to use your mat. I like to save my mat for paper piecing or, um, if I have little scraps, I like to save my mat for those things. So as long as my vinyl can fit between my two rollers on my machine, um, I don't use a mat. Starla, is that the latest version of Silhouette? The latest version as of like the 25th, I believe is 4.1.201. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I am not using the latest version. I'm a little dated. <laughs> okay, and I'm also gonna use our new gridded transfer tape we just introduced this week. Raise your hand if you love gridded transfer tape. <laughs> Amy and Starla are raising their hands. <laughs> there's, there's a question if you ever use a Cricut. She, she does sometimes, oh, but- Oh, I ever use a Cricut. Look, we, we do. <laughs> the maker and the two. <laughs> yes, Joanne has converted us. I did, like when I very first started this a long time ago, I used a Cricut. Um, and then Silhouette came out, because, and I really liked their software better. But I do, I bought a Cricut maker at home, and I have it. And I have made three quarters of a quilt top with it. <laughs> it's not finished. It's been sitting there for a few weeks, but. Do you know what font you used for the um, cups? The font is, yes, I do. So one is a cut file that I got from Etsy, and I will tell you where I got that from. Let's go over here. Okay, so the Where's Barb came from Etsy, and it's a store called, dun, 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 dun. hold on, my internet's being slow. Designed by Geeks. And they even have cute glasses in their logo. Um, but yeah, I purchased this one from Etsy. And so it was already made. But the font for the, the it's the Stranger Things font. It's, it's similar to that I did the Barb Says Hi. And that font is called, um, it's spelled B-E-N-Q-U-I-A-T. Do you want to zoom into that? How would you say that? I'm gonna mess it up so I don't want to say it live. <laughs> ben quaint, Ben quaint, right here. Can you, oh, and I just made it go away. We'll put links yeah. to all of it yeah. after. <laughs> well. SVG. You shouldn't with the F SVG. It should go into it easily. We can 
play with it after and see what might be happening. Yeah, let me open it. I can open it. Um, <laughs> we can go look at that in just a minute. Let's see. I'll open the SVG when I see. So what type of vinyl was used for your shirt? Ooh, this is... Um, Teal. Teal. Caesar Easyweed Electric. And I really like the electric because it's just subtle. It's not quite as shiny and blingy as glitter, but it still has that shine to it. And the color is teal. It's my favorite. Um, there's some really fun colors in the electric. That's my favorite. <laughs> okay, so we've got our little thing. We've got our gridded transfer tape over the top, and now we are gonna apply it to our bag. And honestly, I have not tried this gridded transfer tape on paper stuff. So I usually do it on cards and stuff with paper transfer tape. So we are gonna see how this grid it does on a paper bag. Okay, so I just peeled off a little bit of my backing to reveal that top part. And I am just gonna lay this down once we get it straight. Ooh, look how helpful those grids are. Okay, put that down and then pop this up and get the rest of my backing paper off. So this is a place too, if you cut too deep and if you're having a hard time getting your backing paper off, it's probably because you cut into that backing paper and it wants to hold on and stay there with it. So cut settings, getting your cut settings right really makes your life a lot easier. Make sure we don't have any bubbles in that. And the moment of truth, how is this transfer tape gonna do? And it's gonna do beautiful, awesome. Okay, so I'm just peeling off my transfer tape and taking an H with me. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! Save that for later. Let's be honest, I'm not going to. But some of you might. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here is my cute bag we made with the Glitter FX Aqua Mist. And we're gonna put in our cute little cups, our mugs. Also made with the glitter aqua mist. All right, and we have tissue paper and we're ready to go with our hostess gift to our Stranger Things party tonight. Is Tell me if you guys ha are having a Stranger Things party, like a marathon tonight. Um, Tanya is just clueless on what the meaning of where is Barb. <laughs> <laughs> so it's on Stranger Things. Have you watched, Was it, did you say Tanya? Yeah. Tanya's wondering, she doesn't understand the where is Barb. And it's a reference from Stranger Things. They just leave Barb in the upside down. So I'm not, I don't wanna give any spoilers, but it is from the show Stranger Things. So if you watch that, you will know. Diane wants to know if season two is out yet. Yes, it came out today. Diane, season two came out today and I can't wait to go watch it. Okay. So we're gonna put our tissue paper in there and our bag is all ready to go. Yay! Ooh, let's talk about my cutting mat. So, who would you say? Joe. Joe. So this cutting mat is from Skyhawk and I got it off of Amazon, but any um, cutting mat like this, any self-healing cutting mat works great. Um, you can usually find them in the sewing section at the store or look for a self-healing cutting mat on Amazon or wherever. But it's nice because you can trim out your vinyl with your handy dandy knife and you don't ruin your table underneath. So yeah, this is just a self-healing. And I like this one because it spins. It's fun. <laughs> so my favorite tools, I always use a knife and I always use a self-healing cutting mat. So let's go look at that SVG for just a second. Let's see. I'm gonna go to Cricut and open it. Maybe Joanne can walk us through this. <laughs> oh no, Heather for, just forgot to put the beach TV upside down. In her oh, Heather, I'm sorry. So did you cut through the carrier sheet? Maybe it can be salvaged. Okay, I'm going to Kim's. To a girl and a glue guns. Okay, so here we are at our free cut file. 
from a girl in a glue gun. And I scrolled down too far. Right here. Okay, so SVG. I'm going to click on that and download it. Okay. Only a little, Heather said. About an inch or so was ruined. Oh, oh. darn it, Heather. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is painful. Oops. Wrong one. <laughs> okay. So we are going to go to Cricut and log in here. If my internet will go. We seem to be in like a dark hole up here. Nobody knows where we are. So Stephanie wants to know if the mat is made out of rubber. Um, the cutting mat? Yeah. Stephanie's asking if the mat is made out of rubber. Um, it's kind of rubbery. It's kind of like a really hard rubber though. It's it's really stiff. Um, you can cut into it and you can, can you kind of see my, the knife just sinks right into it. Um, but it doesn't dull your knife. I don't know if you can see my cut marks on there, but it's, it's made for that purpose. Um, quilters use it with a rotary cutting blade. Hold on. Give me a few minutes to remember my password here. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to do an update. So, yeah, usually quilters use it with a rotary blade for cutting fabric on. Um, but you can use it with a knife for crafting. They had some really cute turquoise ones at Walmart. Waiting, waiting. Okay, so I'm gonna open a new project. And right now we're seeing if we can get this SVG to um, come in here. So now I would just go upload image. The left hand side towards the bottom. Thank you, Joanne. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been on here for a while. Okay, I'm gonna upload image. And I can drop my file here. So I should be able to just yep. grab that and drop it in. Is it, no, it doesn't like it. Okay, we're gonna browse my downloads. Angel says, you have no idea how much I enjoy watching these. I look so forward to Fridays. Yay. That is awesome. Thanks for tuning in. We have fun on Fridays. Are not supported. Uh, I'm going to continue. Okay. So here is my image. And it, it looks like it all came through. So you do need to go to upload and then drop it in there. I'm gonna save it. Yes, a girl in a glue gun. Her, let's go back. A girl in a glue gun .com. Okay. Go back to design space and click on it again. There you go. Okay. And open it up and there it is so I can size this as I need to um, right here with the toggle whoops sorry so just size that bigger or smaller and then it's ready to cut out so with that SVG you just go to upload and drop drop the file in there and you're ready to cut so big thanks to a girl in a glue gun for all her cute files that she gives us for free um, everybody not just us <laughs> All right, guys, um, thanks for tuning in. Let us know if you have questions. We can continue to answer them. If you're tuning in late, we made this cute little bag using our glitter effects adhesive vinyl, and we put it on cups um, and enjoy the Stranger Things Marathon tonight. <laughs> so for next week, Bonnie is up with her project. Bonnie, do you want to show them off? Yeah. Okay, let's go over and see Bonnie's desk. Next week, we're making these, ladies and gentlemen, who's ever out there. So I'll show you some really easy uh, neighbor gifts. I know it's Christmas, but it's not too soon to get those done. And I'll show you how to make the frame and everything. So super fun. Way cute. Yay. All right. Happy Friday, guys. See you later. Bye.